Hello, uh, my name is Arthur Marinowski. I'm working for uh, Malkin, and today I'd like to show you how to manage permissions levels uh, in SharePoint. It's, it's just uh, out of the box uh, functionality, but it is essentially uh, to understand it, uh, to be able to dynamically manage it with the Malkin workflow uh, later on. So after that, you can watch another video how to do it my, um, dynamically with with MWS uh, so for example once some records are added you add you set the permissions dynamically for some given people for example for managers or for um, for dedicated people so what I have I have a blank site here completely blank and let's go here to site settings and we need to go to advanced permissions and here I can since I am inheriting permissions I can either manage the permissions of the parent or can uh, try to edit those uh, let's choose maybe uh, managing the parent permissions ok let's go to permission levels now settings permissions levels these are the, the default permissions levels and one common, uh, commonly requested uh, permission level is that people can add new for example requests for something but they, can, uh, they are not allowed to, to them to delete it or modify it or they can just add and read so let's add such permission level let's call it read add be our name. So on the list permission levels, also on the document libraries, you we just select view and add permission levels, and maybe we can give the view versions. So historical versions uh, will be available for them, and also they are able to create alerts. On the side permissions, we don't give much. Some of them are selected by default. So we just skip it. Okay, so once we have the permission level here, read add on our blank site. If you have uh, some uh, user, let's create uh, some list. Let it be my list. On that list, if you go to list settings and on here we have permissions for this list we can break the inheritance for now and for example we want to add some some person which is John Smith let's add that person read add permission only oh we, we uh, skip the description we could give a nice description here when defining read add but by the way we are giving the John Smith permissions so he is able to read and add only. Fine. So currently, uh, John Smith should be able to do read only. Let's open my site or maybe my list on that list. Let's copy the URL. Let's open a new window. Let's go to the my list. You see, as an administrator, I I, I, I can uh, add, for example, a new item. If I change my logins, uh, and of course, as an administrator, I can edit the item. Q2. If I log on as John Smith. John Smith. Here I can add new item. John Smith item. But I can only view this item. So I cannot edit, I cannot delete it. So it is very useful uh, to have some uh, permissions levels defined before later on you will see that, that once defined such permissions level you can dynamically assign them to, 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 give, to given people.
Okay, that's uh, that's it. So once you have the uh, the permissions level just in SharePoint, uh, which is again out of the box functionality. Once you have it defined, then you would uh, would uh, mark a workflow for SharePoint. You can use them dynamically. So thank you for your time.